my dad had sitting around the house, which I always had taken for granted, this little eight millimeter film movie camera. And that's how I made my first movie. Put the camera low to the track, the way we as children like to put our eyes close to the toys we're playing with. And intuitively I figured out if I put the camera in the middle and they met in the middle, I'd have my movie. But I looked at that film over and over and over again. And then I thought, I wonder what else I could do with this camera. And that's how it began. The biggest misconception is people see someone's first film and they think that's what they did on their first day as a filmmaker. <laughs> what did we go? I made your morning coffee! And I just carried on making films as I grew up. And over the years, they got bigger, hopefully better, but, but more elaborate. And there never really was a period in my life where I completely stopped doing that. So I was always moving up. This world of movie making, uh, where these miraculous images and stories came from, really felt very distant. I had a teacher. He was the one to give me the confidence. It's experiencing life that does it. You know, I don't think there's one specific thing you could... It's just experiencing and connecting to what's around you. I sort of grew up with a camera in my hand. I, I always felt comfortable behind the lens and I would take the family photos and then I would take photos of my friends, but then also became really interested in the concept of cinematography. The things that used to almost kill me don't kill me so much. And the enjoyment of doing gets so beautiful. When you have a dream, it doesn't often come at you screaming in your face, this is who you are, this is what you must be for the rest of your life. Sometimes a dream almost whispers. The hardest thing to listen to, your instincts, your human personal intuition, always whispers, it never shouts. Very hard to hear. So you have to, every day of your lives, be ready to hear what whispers in your ear. It very rarely shouts. Make your own industry. Recreate movies. Don't pay attention to the industry. Do your own thing. Your voice is as important as anyone else's. Okay, then your train your training begins. Uh... Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait.